today's session we are going to see the topic called reflection coefficient and standing wave ratios okay so first let us see what is this reflection coefficient okay so a reflection coefficient is defined as the ratio of reflected wave voltage to the incident wave voltage okay so i will repeat once again a reflection coefficient is defined as the ratio of reflected wave voltage okay to the incident wave voltage okay we need to know what is this reflected wave voltage as well as incident wave voltage right now okay what happens whenever you are giving some wave or signal okay so the other name of a signal can also be called as a wave right okay that wave or a signal can carry any kind of data or information or anything it can be any kind of energy okay now so if you consider a transmission line in a transmission line we have seen a several signals traveling from one point to another point okay in a particular direction which we are considering it as velocity of the signal through which it is traveling okay now let us take a particular signal is moving let us consider a single signal okay now this signal is moving from point a to point b okay and previously we have seen whenever there is a signal traveling in a transmission line from point a to point b or from one point to another point this signal will be having frequency okay and this also will be having some sort of power right we have seen it signals will be having their own frequencies as well as their individual powers okay due to which they will be having their own velocity through which they will be moving on their own speed okay now whenever a signal is traveling in a transmission line okay as it has got some frequency as well as power as we are calculating with respect to attenuation okay eppudaithe signal ki power undi an annamo okay we can say that uh, that particular signal e particular signal okay will be having voltage as well as current okay as we are indicating voltage as v and current as i okay now see what happens whenever a signal or a wave is traveling in a transmission line again we are considering a transmission line and we have taken a signal now we already know as it has got frequency as it has got some power we need to remember that okay each and every signal or any signal or a wave will be having voltage as well as current okay prathi signal ki edo ento konta voltage untadi current untadi along with some frequency now this signal as it is traveling in a transmission line like this okay what happens whenever it is traveling in a transmission line some part of energy will be coming as an output okay and some part of energy will be absorbed by this transmission line transmission line is nothing but some sort of cable okay so some sort of energy will be absorbed by this uh, transmission line or cables and some sort of energy will be reflected back in a transmission line reflection coefficient with respect to voltage is defined as the ratio of reflected signal with respect to the incident signal or the reflected wave voltage with respect to the incident wave voltage enta signal enta voltage of the signal ni or enta voltage of the wave ni input la gechamu dan nunchi enta reflect ayindi okay that is what we are considering how much we have how much voltage of a signal or a wave we have given as an input and how much signal or a wave voltage is reflected back manam input enthi ste enta reflect ayindi okay that is the ratio of a reflection coefficient with respect to voltage okay now reflection voltage is defined as the ratio of reflected wave voltage 
to the incident wave voltage where reflected wave voltage is nothing but the reflected signal with respect to the voltage and incident wave voltage is nothing but the how much voltage of the signal given as an input where reflection coefficient is given as k k is equal to vr by vi okay where vr is the reflection wave voltage and vi is the incident wave voltage okay same thing if you write with respect to current okay so same ide definition ni we are writing with respect to current if you write with respect to current what we can write it is defined as the ratio of reflected wave current to the incident wave current okay how much how much current with respect to signal or a wave we have given as an input and how much current is reflected okay with respect to signal or a wave enta input icham signal lo okay enta current anedi input icham enta reflect ayindi okay that is what we are considering with respect to current okay the reflection coefficient with respect to current is given as ir by ii where ir is nothing but reflection wave current and ii is nothing but incident wave current okay